The following is presented by the Computer History Archives Project. A tour of the Sperry Univac Mini Computer Manufacturing Facility. Clearwater, Florida, 1975. Introduction and Background The ANUYK-20 The ANUYK-20 was a ruggedized 16-bit computer introduced by Sperry Univac in 1973 and used by the United States Navy for small and medium-sized shipboard and shore-based systems. Sperry Univac was awarded the contract in April 1973, beating out its major competitors, Control Data Corporation, General Electric, and Raytheon Data Systems. Designed to meet military specifications, including the ability to fit through a 25-inch circular hatch, Univac Technical Personnel in Minnesota, designed the ANUYK-20, and had it manufactured at the Sperry plant in Clearwater, Florida. The Chief of Naval Material mandated the use of these machines as a mini-computer standard, from about 1974 onwards. Today, courtesy of the Hagley Museum and Library, we will take a rare look at the manufacturing process at the Sperry plant in Clearwater 1975. The film shows the high level of skill required to assemble the memory planes and ruggedized circuitry that helped make this computer a highly successful tool for decades. Several thousand units were eventually produced, and it became the world's most widely used militarized computer. Perhaps the film will provide some memories and familiar faces of Sperry personnel from the 1975 Clearwater factory. Sperry Univac's Clearwater, Florida facility, dedicated to production of militarized mini computers. Printed circuit assembly includes automatic insertion of integrated circuits. Automatic locators for precise location and orientation of discrete components. And detail work. It's all accomplished through accurate, up-to-date documentation. Automatic wave soldering. Formal coding. Meticulously applied. We have plenty of here. Okay, right up here in this corner. It, it's, it's like shadowy. So try and just do the corner of it. Then through a continuous oven to cure the conformal coating. Next visual inspection and automated diagnostic testing. This ensures only the best printed circuit assemblies get to the computer. Diagnostic testing built into the test program software pinpoints areas of concern, speeding printed circuits through the detail assembly area. I.O. circuits are assembled, checked, and tested. Complete records aid production and quality control. Data, control, and memory array boards are populated here.
and thoroughly clean. Core memory stringing. First drive lines are strung automatically by machine. Then sense wires are strung by hand. Specialized training and skills are required for this task of inserting sense wires into the core memory mat. Completed sense wire pair are twisted for later termination on the memory array board. The core memory mat is placed onto the array board. The wires are located over termination pads for welding. Detail production assembly work. Production check and inspection. Now test again with specially designed automated test equipment. This equipment tests the array in situations that duplicate worst case conditions. Again, narrowing the diagnostic recycle effort. Transformers and coils. Assembled, inspected and tested. Hermetically sealed and mounted ready for power supply assembly. There are many sub-assemblies and modules built here to provide the many power supply options available in all Univac mini computers. Computerized production control provides management and production workers with the details on all production items, down to the latest revision level information, hence controlling the build cycle at the lowest component level. This control is exercised in all phases of plant operations, quality control, inventory control, configuration management, design engineering data, management and financial data, including payroll, and more. Inspection. Assembly information is documented. Automatic power supply testing, again, specifically designed and built, dedicated to the task of rapid fault isolation to provide complete power supply integrity. Now, the automatic wire wrap facility. Digital control for precise location of back panel wiring.
fiction. Then, final assembly interconnection of wire wrap panels with other sub assemblies. harness, and connector assemblies. Pre-prepping of wires. Pre-prepping provides efficient and fault-free interwiring of subassemblies. In addition to computerized production control, every assembler receives individual instruction and support. Back panels wired and assembled into chassis. Main computer chassis wired and ready for final acceptance evaluation by engineers and DCAS. Every employee has a feel for the finished product due to the centralized location of final tests. In final test, the various chassis and modules are assembled for fan-out test. Printed circuit assemblies installed. Power is applied and voltage levels are checked and set. When fan-out testing is completed, the modules are integrated for environmental testing. Environmental tests eliminate marginal components through rigorous hot and cold cycles. This kind of testing assures operational computers ready for installation at the customer's facility. Skilled personnel Automated processes and computerized technology enable this facility to produce two computers per day on a one-shift basis. The UNIVAC Clearwater history is a dynamic one. In February, we began renovating the work areas, moving equipment from St. Paul, 
acquisition and training of the workforce, developing new equipment and process techniques, implementing EDP control systems. Everything necessary to bring this facility up to speed was initiated, and in August it was accomplished, all in less than six months' time. Earlier this year, as more than 500 Clearwater, Florida employees looked on, Spur Univac celebrated a milestone with an important customer. The event noted the delivery of the 1,000th UYK-20 computer to the United States Navy. This rugged, dependable computer is the Navy's standard mini-computer for all shipboard applications. 